watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street uh, with our financial expert Rob Black. Uh, Dow down 42. We keep getting closer to that uh, all-time record high of 14,164. Then we pull back. So uh, yeah. pulling back here, we're about uh, almost 100 points away here from the all-time record high. Does it mean anything? People get excited about that. If we break a new high, then what? I think there's some psychology, okay. which, you know, is nice, but that's not enough for me. <laughs> I'd rather um, us hit all-time highs on great GDP numbers, us hit all-time highs on great profit numbers, hitting all-time highs on the Dow. The Dow's a bogus kind of index. It's got HP in it. Had had Apple in it. It'd be at about uh, 18,000 at this point in time. So it's just, it's one index. Um, yeah. I like the Wilshire 5,000. I like the uh, Wilshire 3,000, 2,000. There's different indexes that give a better reflection. You know, all the talk about the $85 billion in cuts for the budget year, the sequestration that's starting to kick in now. Wall Street doesn't seem too worried about it. No, and again, it's pretty small if you think about it. When we're basically doing a couple trillion dollars of deficit every two years, you know, cutting a trillion over 10, it's just not going to add up in the, the mathematics of the world. The interesting thing about it is with the sequestration, like you said, uh, there's a lot of concern on, you know, Wall Street. When's this going to start hitting people and they're going to panic and start selling their stocks? So far, it's not really happening. Um, over the weekend, uh, Obama talked to members of both parties on the phone. This is going to be an issue that takes months not weeks. And with that said, there should be a sell-off. Uh, February was up, January was up, December was up. Um, all in this headwind of there could be a potential worst-case scenario with our government shutdown. I don't buy it, but we'll see. Okay, what's going on with uh, Yahoo and BlackBerry? Yeah, Yahoo. Um, uh, Marissa Mayer, yeah. uh, my favorite CEO. Yes, I know this. Um, <laughs> she's actually getting stuff done. She's a leader. She actually looks like she's going to stay on the job for a couple of months. Uh, this morning, basically last week, but it's kind of a this morning kind of news story. Uh, no, no support for BlackBerry 10. None. Zip. Zilch. Oh. They're cutting a lot of things that we don't use, like Yahoo message boards, which I didn't really know were still around. But they're cutting support for BlackBerry 10, which is basically a death knell. Um, it's... You know, Yahoo's not that powerful. They've got an IPO coming out of Asia later this year, Alibaba. Will it be valued on the high end or the low end? And Yahoo can continue to move from these levels. I like Yahoo. Focus is good. Um, I like that she took a chance and said, you know, people need to be here to work in the culture. Um, she got a lot of backlash for that. Yeah. All right, quickly, a Warren Buffett. So Berkshire Hathaway, he comes out with his uh, yearly statement, right? He did it on Friday. Uh, did you pick anything out of there? Yeah, he's no CNBC. Um, he doesn't sell fear. He doesn't sell greed. He says American businesses will do fine over time and stocks will do just as well, certainly. Dumbest thing you can own right now is the government treasury, he says, for the mm -hmm. long term. Uh, he still thinks, you know, going long term into stocks is the right way to go. He said America's been uncertain since the Civil War um, or even the Revolutionary War. So don't let fear guide your investment decisions. Let capitalism guide your investment decisions. Well, good advice. Thank you, Rob. We'll check back with Rob for those winners and losers on Wall Street uh, coming up at 915. James? Good enough. We'll see you both then. Thank you. 650 the time. Let's turn it over to weather. Erica has an eye on that.